Hagen had it going early. Manny Ramirez, hello. I must be going. Saber Hagen struck out three in four innings before leaving with stiffness in the shoulder. Now, bottom four, Darren Lewis stealing second, colliding with Enrique Wilson. I'd love to see this again. Thank you. Take a look. They both try and avoid one another. Wouldn't work out that way. Thankfully, they would both remain in the ball game. Top of five Indians were down 4-1. Manny Ramirez to the plate. It might be. It could be. It isn't. It's off the monster. That'll score Kenny Lofton and Wilson. Manny's hitting 352. He would later score on a Jim Tomey single. That would tie the ball game. Bottom seven, Red Sox breaking it open. Mike Stanley woke up in the morning, 0 for his last 22. He would sleep a little easier after his first home run of the year, and the Red Sox win it easily, 9-4, snapping a three-game losing streak. Stanley breaking out of the slump with in the Bronx with the Blue Jays and some former teammates on hand, David Wells, Graham Lloyd, and Homer Bush, all receiving their World Series rings from Joe Torre. Meanwhile, an interesting day for Chili Davis. Bottom two, Yanks down 2 nothing, and they break off Chili there. Little weak, broken bat grounder to second. Chili, meanwhile, would be longing for that at bat after Davis Chili blows Davis him away now. with a fastball, and then he gets blown away this time by Tom Davey. Strike. Tough day for Chili Davis, Davis, but now bottom eight. Tied at four, Davis turned around, batting from the right side with two runners on seat. Redemption, Chili Concarni on this one, the three-run shot off Dan Plesak, Davis's fifth of the year, and that would be the difference as the Yankees win it seven to four, so they follow up a four-game skid with four straight wins. And Sosa Homer, bottom six, he obliges in the wrong direction. To right, a solo shot, his fourth of the year, comes up to nothing. To the top of the eighth, tying runs on for the Mets' Ray Ordonez, who sends a shot into right field. Sosa out there, backpedaling, I got it, I got it! Makes a sweet catch, Sosa helping keep the Cubs in the lead. To the top of the ninth we go. Rod Beck comes on for the save against John Olru, the liner to left. Curtis Goodwin is there to catch the flare, and Beck gets his third save. He was booed by the Chicago fans, but a 2-0 win over the Mets, who were 8-3 on the road. And Brewers in action against the Pirates. Bottom five, three to one. Bucks. Pat Mears against Cal Eldred. Hot smash. Jeff Cirillo. I think I glove you. And he guns Mears at first. The Bucks offense couldn't score past the fourth. Jeremy Burnett's had some problems with the left-handed curve. Pete Shurik freezing him. And then swing and a miss. Top of the eighth, tied at three. And Burnett's likes this curveball. Scott Sauerbach giving it up. Burnett's deep to right and history. Two-run shot, his fifth of the year. And the Brewers go on to a 5-3 win. Jeff Cirillo also homering for the second day in a row. Burnett striking out in his first two at-bats, then driving in three runs with his next two at-bats. Bob Wickman pitching the ninth for his second save. Astros and the Reds in afternoon play. Bottom third, no score. Mike Hampton against Barry Larkin with two men on. Pow. The Hampton heater deep to left and gone. Hampton knew it. Larkin's fourth homer of the season. Reds leading at 3-0. To the top of the eighth, three to one Cincinnati. Ken Caminiti against Danny Graves with two on through the Base hole in right. right Craig Biggio, you can scar. Derek Bell comes in. 1,500 career hits for Caminiti, game tied at three. Bottom nine, four three strokes. Mike Cameron up against Billy Wagner, two on, two out. Gas, this exit. A 98 mile an hour fastball right by Cameron on the outside corner. Wagner gets his fifth save this season. The Strohs win it by a final of four to three. The ballpark, but not back on the field. Meanwhile, this one was a fly ball fest. That was Oquist getting a pop up from Mike Bordick and BJ Surhoff, then Albert Bell. Jeff Conine goes the same way. You're starting to get the idea here. We had fly balls galore. That was Brady Anderson coming to the plate. He lifts one, then Bordick again. The Oquist got 11 straight outs by the fly ball. A's pitching got 15 straight by way of the air. Meanwhile, sixth inning, Matt Stairs providing the offense. Stairs, see ya. Wouldn't want to be. A Scott Erickson made just one mistake, and it was a big one. Three-run shot, fourth of the year for Stairs, and the A's win it, snapping an eight-game losing streak in the series. They do it on one swing of the bat. Outside of that, Scott Erickson pitched well. Rangers and Twins in Minnesota. Top of three, tied at one. Rangers second and third. Juan Gonzalez to the plate. His bat is starting to come around. Bounces that one right back at you. McLemore scores. So does Rusty Greer. The Rangers, a 3-1 lead. Top of four, it's a pick up top of five, excuse me, a 4-1 game. Gonzalez to the plate again. This is a fair ball, and it's all kinds of trouble. McLemore will score. Gonzalez three for four, three ribs. Rangers, a 5-1 lead. Next batter, Rafi Palmero. Latroy Hawkins 
He'd like that one back. Off the $10,000 sign for a two-run homer, Palmero's fourth of the year made it 7-1, to and the Rangers go on to win it 7-2 to two as the another fireworks show. Meanwhile, bottom one, Donovan Osborne pitching and not well. That's Eric Karros' fourth of the year, a two-run shot, giving the Dodgers the early 3-0 lead. Top of two, still three-zip. Ismael Valdez gets Fernando Tatis on the check swing strikeout, and Valdez had it all going. Jay Drew up, Jay Drew down. Top of six, 4 nothing Dodgers. Mark McGuire to the plate. He has never homered at Dodgers Stadium. Gets Goodwood on this one, but you know, sometimes Goodwood isn't enough. He was 0 for 3 with a walk. All that remained to be seen was what Tatis could do for that encore. Fernando Tatis, see ya. Wouldn't want to be a, his third in two nights, his seventh of the year. This one, not a grand slam. It was of the solo variety, and it was the solo run the cards would put up on the board. 6-1 to one the final. McGuire falls to 0 for 9 whose stock has been doing well, and then Reggie Sanders doing well. Crushes the solo shot in the bottom of third, breaking up a one-all tie. Two on pods on the blast for Reggie. Bottom four, one on, tied at two. Ruben Rivera, fair ball. Matt Williams couldn't get there. Phil Nevin gets all the way there. 3-2 San Diego. Bottom six now, Rivera on. Greg Myers lifting one. It might be, it could be, it is. First of the year for Myers, and the Padres get the win, snapping Arizona's five-game win streak. Reggie Sanders, two of the Padres' five homers. They had only 11 homers in their San Francisco. Armando Rios not in the starting lineup, having a good time anyway. Things not all fun in games for the Giants. Rich Aurelia lives the game with tightness in the right groin. We all know how awful that can be. His replacement, Ramon Martinez. And he takes Pedro Estacio right where Pedro didn't want to be. Second of the year for Ramon, game tied at four. More antics, meanwhile, from Rios, who's comparing height with Marvin Bernard. Bottom eight, Giants leading 7-4. Rios pinch hitting, base hit. He's hitting 333. Brent Main goes to third. The next batter would be Bernard. And I suppose the question is, which would be the bigger man? Rios at first. Bernard, bingo. He was two for five, two ribs in the game. Giants an 8-4 lead. Bernard taller on the field, so Rios has to cheat to be taller. Either way, the Giants come away a winner. Seven strong for Sean Estes, eight strikeouts and his second win. And Royals in KC, top of four scoreless, runner at first, and Tim Salmon has just left the building. He loves day games. We'll have more on that in a moment. Meanwhile, this was his fifth of the year, and it gave the Angels a 2-0 lead. Now, more from Salmon. Smoked. Smoked salmon. The sixth of the year, 20 ribbies on the year now for Tim as the Angels take a 3-2 lead. I apologize for that. Bottom eight now tied at three, and we show you the runners. That's Joe Randa, that's Carlos Beltran, that's Ray Sanchez. There were three of them. Mike Sweeney, ground ball, Andy Sheets. Could it be two? No, it couldn't. The throw is not good. Sanchez scores the game-winning run. Royals take it by a final of 4-3. to three. Jose Santiago pitching an inning and a third of scoreless relief. Pigres in Tampa will be a long day indeed for Orlando Arojo. There's Ken Griffey Jr. with a solo shot in the fourth, and then it's a hit parade. Jay Buhner sends one. John Mabry, a solo shot. David Segui, a solo shot. Five-nothing M's, and then two batters later, Ken Griffey, second verse, same as the first. Fifth of the year, second of the day, six-nothing M's. Arojo, four and a third, six earned runs, five homers. He's had better days. Bottom seven, nine one M's, two on for Jose Canseco, adios. Three run shot, number nine on the year for Jose. Devil Rays get within nine to four. Bottom of nine, two on, two out for Canseco. Jose Mesa got him. Mariners take it by a score of nine to four. The Griff with two of the M's, six solo homers. They stop the D-Ray win streak at six. Early on in this one, Brett Boone, top of the first against Jesus Sanchez. Mangoes. Deep Solo center shot field. to center, one nothing Braves. Two batters later, it's Brian Jordan, who decides to give him some of that. Then right after that, Andrew Jones. Three nothing Braves, three solo homers in four batters. The Marlins wouldn't go away though. Alex Gonzalez in the bottom of the second, down 3-2. The shot off the wall and left. Kevin Ory, you can score. George Fabregas also comes across. Marlins take a 4-3 lead. Top of the seventh, the Braves hitting comes through. Brian Hunter, the single to left to score Jordan. They take an 8-6 lead and hang on to win 8-7. So Greg Maddox wins despite giving up six runs, two of them earned, plus 10 hits in five innings. All in Expos north of the border, top of eight, tied at five. Scott Rowland untied with one swing of the bat, his sixth home run of the year. The Phils overcome a five-run deficit and win their second in a row after being swept by Arizona. They up their record to nine and eight. The game attracting just over 8,000 fans. The Expos playing to a crowd of less than 10,000 for their fifth straight.